Hello everyone, my name is Andre and today I will be showing you my Crochet Force of Nature deck. So this deck is going to be a mixture of Deathwish cards and Thrive engines. So I'm going to explain every card from the bottom and its purpose in the deck all the way to the top. So the card at the bottom is going to be uh, rate, uh, Night Raid. And Night Raid can be exchanged for uh, Neckers, that's going to be the safer version of the deck. The reason why Night Raid is included is because we need more Deathwish cards for the hunt, but the problem with Night Raid is that it fills up the board and Koshe fills up the board really quickly with the larvas because it's going to spawn at least like five or six. Um, so alternatively you can run Necker, but I'm going to show you the safer version later of the deck. Uh, Bruxa is just a, um, a Thrive engine, there's nothing to it. Uh, Inject of Warrior is going to be used to consume Foglets or uh, to help out consume things like that love. The reason why we we're running it is because we're not running overwhelming hunger, so we need uh, some help with consumes in case Han fails. But yeah, Inject of Warrior is going to probably be used to eat Foglets in the first round. I never had troubles with Foglet, even though it is a little bit awkward since we have only like. Well, I guess it's like two consumes, and then Haunt is like three, so we have six consumes. And we also have like six Death Push cards with Night Raid, if you're running Night Raid instead of Necker. So, uh, I, I think it's fine. Uh, Noon Raid, like, um, it is just another Death Push card. It's better than Night Raid because it doesn't <laughs> spawn any additional units on your side of the board. So... I was originally running one, but then I realized it's um, better than Nitrate. Uh, Animal Conqueror, it's a um, 7-4-4. Four four. It's always going to trigger Thrive Engines, and it's the whole reason why we're running a Devotion deck in the first place. Um, uh, larvas, everybody knows how Larvas work. Drowner, Drowners can be changed for uh, one of these two cards in case you need uh, purify or if you want to do movement without thrive I just like drowners because drowners have uh, the thrive ability so they, if they play early round they can be um, very useful but I understand if ball hunt units are better for it um, next up we have more thinning then we have Brigest like I said already it's going to be used for uh, just as a safe, as a safe help for uh, that love in case Han fails. Um, this is just another point slam that's gonna trigger all the drives. <laughs> if it is rat is gonna, if it is rat is actually really good in this deck because of cards like we guessed we can like we guessed can for example consume uh, Egern and then uh, you have like 18 point removal right there so it's very like it's a lot of removal which is really good since the current meta is running really tall cards Azrael, everybody knows Azrael, right cave troll cave troll is going to be used uh, to protect uh, koshi and it's also a seven point card so it's it, it's good to uh, trigger thrives and you can protect either crochet or haunt uh, depending on how you play out the round uh, Nakfar is going to be used obviously to have more consistency but Nakfar is also really good against the north card because it puts the second card which you don't choose on top of that deck so if north card piles up a bunch of crap cards on top of your deck you can just play the second round, right? And the third round, you're gonna have one of the better cards like Oberon or I don't know, Ozreal. Then next up, we have well, we have Koshi himself. Um, he's gonna be used, he's gonna be played uh, probably in the range drill. Uh, it, we're first gonna play, for example, Cave Troll. This card, you can play it. Even though it's Adrenaline 4, you can play it uh, as your 6 card because 
then you will have five cards left in your hand and the first the first turn it's not gonna trigger the adrenaline effect anyways because you have to play another card to triple thrive right so you play this card sixth you have five cards in your hand and then the next card you play that's gonna trigger thrive it's gonna put you at adrenaline four so it's gonna work that laugh again I'm gonna show you the safer version of this deck but that laugh can be um, it can be a little bit awkward since you don't have too many consumes but if he works he saved me a couple of games and that's the reason why I'm including him Egern again just a huge card I hate when I don't find this card in the first round but there's there's not much removal in the current matter right now so even if you find him in a short third round he's it's likely that he's probably gonna survive with like one armor. Uh, Aubrey is gonna be used to trigger drive twice because he spawns another unit. So like for example, you're gonna be looking for uh, Andal Conqueror of course to play for like eight points. But even if you don't find him, those two cards are gonna play for six points anyways. So they're probably gonna trigger a lot of drives including Koshe. So like for example, you play Defender first, Koshe second, and then Oberon third is gonna trigger Thrive twice already for Koshe, so that's right, really two extra larvas. And then Haunt, of course, that's just a really good card. Force of Nature, it's a nine point unit, it's definitely gonna trigger all the Thrives. It usually pays for like uh, 16, 17 points. Uh, I found it to be the best leader available for this kind of deck. So the safer version of this deck is, of course, like I said, you run Necros instead of Nitrate, but then you kind of lack a little bit of... Um, I mean, you have five Death Push cards, which is still pretty good for the Haunt. I don't think you need more, but again, I think um, Nitrate is just better. Uh, but it, Necros is safer, right? So instead of that laugh, you'll be running... Uh, Katakin, which you don't need to really consume because consuming it gives you two extra points while consuming that lab gives you 10 extra points. This card also has drive, so it's kind of boat. It's really good for this deck because boat has drive and that fish ability, which is like the two main <laughs> points of this deck. And we have one more extra provision because uh, Katakin is only nine. We're gonna kick out BTS because we don't need more <laughs> consume. Now we're not running that laugh, and instead we're going to put Parasite for uh, more removal. Like Parasite, for example, can remove uh, Cogrim, so we're going to have a lot of thinning. Cogrim is not going to play for many points, it's going to play for like 6 points per turn, so you can move him right away. Before they clone him with Leo, oh not Leo, um, Leto. But yeah, um, this is a safe version of the deck. I think the other version of the deck is better. The other version of the deck got me from rank 3 to rank 1 in like one day. Uh, I, I have a huge win rate with it. I, I don't know what is it exactly, but it's probably the best deck I've played so far this season. And um, thank you for watching. I'll be playing some games and enjoy. Pride is all we've left. I'm running Nikers instead of um, Nitrate, but I'm still running the Flat Flames. Your kind. 
side dies. Mm. Forgot to play Neckers. But it's fine. Now, not ideal, but it's fine. Could be better, but it's fine. Kidding me? Catnip instead of crowns? I admit I lost my temper. Lost it. Wow. Talk about combos, huh? Pretty sure he was gonna pass, but you know that works better for me. Actually, it doesn't because I don't have any death push cards. So I just know this. So I'll play this and then hopefully get that lap. I wasn't gonna get that lap. So we're going with this. <laughs> and hopefully we save hunt for Round three, but I was very, I was hundred percent sure that he was gonna play. Um, a different card.
Humans are scotch. I prefer L. Or We shall conquer this world as we conquered countless others. That's really unlucky. But we'll see. Some of us are always uh uh Goliath's Azor or Goliath and Animal Conqueror, that's gonna be the best. And possible. And Goliath is definitely gonna be drawn. As well. I guess I just keep him raid. I feel like that's more responsible. And what if I draw like Drowner? Obviously, that would suck really bad. Yeah, but we won this game, hundred percent. <laughs> 